My first thought in getting the commission was that I really wanted to honor Pittsburgh on its 250th anniversary by sort of creating the history of Pittsburgh in sound, sort of as if you were to maybe flip through an old book of photographs that traces Pittsburgh from the early days of the French and Indian War and the passage to the West that Pittsburgh represented all the way up through the industrial period in the 19th century and then the beautiful shining city of today. And so I wanted to really create that whole progression for the listener. In doing that, I used about 11 traditional tunes, uh, starting with an Iroquois dream song at the beginning, representing the very beginnings of Pittsburgh back in the uh, early 1700s, before the French and the British really fought it out for possession of the land. And so the very beginning is just this virgin forest land. It's an Iroquois tune that would be traditional from the time, and it represents a single Native American just chanting to the virgin forest land. And then the next theme that comes in is a French theme, and the French theme is the introduction of the French settlers coming in, and I use a tune called La Corte Paille, uh, which means the short straw, and it's a, a tune that was created, and a song that was created about 1755, uh, and it's representative of the French settlers coming down uh, from Canada, so it's also a kind of a French-Canadian song as well. And then the third tune that's introduced in the first movement is My Little Turtle Dove, which is a traditional English tune from that time period, also associated with the period of the French and Indian War. sonata form movement that I, I create here, the three themes then battle it out to see who wins, and it's the French and Indian War, the first movement. And at the very end, the very triumphant music at the end of the first movement represents its emotive from the, the British theme, My Little Turtle Dove, and it represents the raising of the British flag over Fort Pitt in 1758, which is the 250th anniversary we're commemorating. Ah, my God, what is this land of America? So many people traveling there. I will go too, for I am still young. God, the Lord will grant me good luck there. The second movement, uh, Magarak's Dream, is the representation of the dream of the immigrants who came over to work in the coal and steel industry. This movement is based largely on the song I Lie in the American Land, written about 1899 by a Slovakian steel worker and based on a true story. The Pittsburgh-based folk musicians, the Newlanders, who were an inspiration in my quest for regional music, sing this song often. The beauty of the song, it, it was written about a steel mill worker who was killed uh, uh, and has, his family was in transit from Eastern Europe to the United States. And when his kids and his wife arrived at the mill or at, at the, his, where he was living, they were met by the foreman who related to them that their father and their, the, the husband had been killed in transit. What have you done to this family of yours? And then the 
third movement is a scherzo. It's the sort of churning machine of the steel mill, and there are four tunes in that that represent various ethnic groups who worked in the steel mills, and they kind of course in and out of this machine, and finally at the end, the, the steel mill really literally swallows them up. Fifteen years in a coal mine, ten a very long time. Fifteen years in a coal mine, ten a very long time. I a labor man, Robin Cassidan, Chesse, Veracuyan, Pelos, the Soroyan, Pelos, the Soroyan, Nati. All oh, the Bolsa's tricks of 76, they met with some success Until the handle god came down and made them do with less Now the troubles down in Homestead, they were brought about this way When a grasping corporation had the audacity to say You must all renounce your unions and forswear your liberty because I started researching the music and found the Homestead Strike song. And I guess I was sharing it with my mother because I knew her mother was from, from Homestead. And she said, oh yes, and you know, um, my grandmother had a picture of the Homestead Strike hanging over our kitchen table and I always thought that was such a strange thing. But it turned out that her mother's brother, so my grandmother's brother was little Billy Foy and little Billy Foy was the first person to be shot in the homestead strike. And the last movement represents modern Pittsburgh and it starts out with a kind of almost barbershop quartet like setting of this tune that's really typical of early 20th century Pittsburgh where the old Allegheny and Monongahela flow. I wanna go back once more to those hills that I roamed before go into Pittsburgh Town, uh, which is attributed to Woody Guthrie when he came through in 1941, and it was a sort of a lighthearted song talking about Pittsburgh as a smoky old town. section which represents uh, what I love in coming into Pittsburgh which is sort of my vision of coming in on Interstate 279 and all of a sudden you see this beautiful view you see these buildings I like to call it the Emerald City in the distance especially on a day when they're all sparkling and reflecting the sunlight and you get closer and closer to this magnificent city and then we kind of crash through a sonic wall near the end and we have a counterpoint, a giant cannon of about uh, eight tunes, four and then four, uh, that we've all heard previously representing the various ethnicities of Pittsburgh, all the different groups, uh, starting with the Native American theme and progressing through these various groups that all represent the kind of foundations of Pittsburgh and how they're all kind of bubbling to the surface and representing the shiny modern city and it kind of ends in a moment of triumph where we have our present day city that we're so proud of. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the piece is so fantastic in that it captures the flavor of the city. It's a very colorful city. There's a lot of rich heritage um, of the city. People are very proud of the city. Even my colleagues tease me all the time because Pittsburgh, I'm very pro-Pittsburgh. I grew up there and my heart's there. And it's, a, it's the kind of city that, um, I mean, Pittsburgh's in my blood. The, the sounds and the, the smells and the, everything that's captured in this piece are, are things that, that resonate with me. Part of, for me, what's unique and wonderful about this piece is the, the really American, specifically American voice that it has. So it's almost, throughout the four movements, it seems kind of like a mosaic of different American scenes, American tunes that you would, that would hear, um, I guess, in Pittsburgh. But for me, not being from Pittsburgh, it's still sort of familiar in a way. Um, just as, as very typically American music. So the city itself really was something I wanted to set to music. So in my own way, this is what I attempted to do, and it was tremendously inspiring. And I, I hope that when people hear the music, they can picture a little bit of Pittsburgh through its history.